How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I want to show you how to set up the new iPad Pro. And we're just going to walk you through the basic, getting your information into it so we can get to that first screen, okay? So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to pick your language. And um, really simple, language, region. And then we're going to connect this bad boy to Wi-Fi. Because um, obviously everything runs off of the internet. And my Wi-Fi is Larry H. Parker. And password is Yolamo Espanol. And then you're gonna hit join. And give it a second, let it connect to your network. Very curious to see what um Oh, and maybe that was the wrong password. Let's try one more time. There we go. All right, let's try one more time. All right, we're in. You'll know it because it'll take it immediately. And after that, location services. So obviously this is personal preference type thing. Everyone doesn't like to do this. Um, Turning it on really makes your, your uh, searches, like for example using Siri and like searching for food or uh, direction, things like that, like obviously the iPad needs GPS to uh, search certain things. So um, it's definitely okay to turn this on if you don't plan on using any type of uh, like, like search for again um, closest hardware store or closest Best Buy or closest this. If you don't plan on finding anything like that, you can turn that off, but uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, set up Touch ID. So this is obviously let it uh, learn your fingerprint so it's easier to make purchases and downloads. Um, I'm going to uh, set up Touch ID later. I'll hit continue for now. You can create a, a six digit pin code just for easy unlocking and locking. I'm going to also pass on this. Just hit passcode options. Don't add passcode. Hit continue. And apps and data. So the cool thing is you can restore this iPad Pro um, to basically have what you had on your previous iPad simply by just hitting restore from iCloud backup or if you're a little bit older and use iTunes still you can restore from uh, iTunes backup. For now, I'm just gonna set this up as a brand new iPad. Uh, just really quick, for those of you that may wanna restore it to what's on your older iPad, you're gonna go on that iPad, go to the settings, go down to iCloud, and you want to back it up first. And once you do that, you would tap restore from iCloud backup. It will ask you to sign in, and then it'll show you the last time you backed up your iPad, and then it'll let you pull from that information. We're gonna hit back for now and just set up as a new iPad. And then you will have to uh, put in your Apple ID. Now, if you don't have one, maybe this is your first iPad, you'll just hit don't have an Apple ID or forgot. So I do have one, so I'm gonna enter it really quick here. All right, so once you have entered your Apple ID, we're gonna hit uh, return and let it take it. It's gonna verify it. Set the terms and conditions at the very bottom. There is an agree button right here. You will just tap there to agree and then hit agree again. And let it update the iCloud settings. Um, then you have an option to turn on Siri. To do that, we're just going to tap turn on Siri. And then the last thing is diagnostics. And what it does is Apple can use the data off your iPad to uh, diagnose certain problems, certain issues. Uh, I always hit, there's an option at the bottom here that says don't send. I tend, technically, I usually do the don't send because um, I feel like it can lead to them dipping into other things that they're not supposed to be looking at. So I usually choose to just bypass that. Now we're gonna get started and here it is. And my goodness, this screen is just so darn big. But there it is, guys. Um, right off the bat, I can tell you I'm not a, a fan of how spaced out the apps are. Uh, I feel like we should be able to have another row of apps, you know, to make it look a little bit cleaner. But nonetheless, this is it. And again, my curiosity is really, uh, I think this 
tablet's going to be so great for web browsing, just having such a, a full screen. Uh, but again, we're going to play around with it. Uh, our first impressions video will be coming out real soon, and we'll let you know uh, our first thoughts about it. All right, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, favorite, and share the video if you did find it helpful. Make sure you also subscribe to HG Tech videos, and have a good one.